Hey guys, this is Hydro from Max Trades, and um, yeah, we're gonna go uh, with another weekly video this week. And uh, yeah, we'll start off with the indices as usual. Take a look at SPY and QQQ. So I'll start off with the weekly chart. Um, so SPY has been doing uh, pretty well recently. Um, last week we did pull back. So um, so so you know, we started out. Uh, five up weeks in a row right and then we put in a consolidation bar and then last last week we broke that strong volume um strong move up right and now we're consolidating again which is perfectly healthy action right so there's a very good chance um i said this a couple weeks before but there's a very good chance that we could just consolidate and wait for the trend line to catch up right because we did get pretty extended off the five up weeks in a row so it would be perfectly normal to see more consolidation and just wait for the trend line to catch up and then get a bounce right so i think uh that's what's happening here and even though we pulled back this week it was a perfectly uh normal pullback and uh yeah completely normal action right nothing out of the ordinary uh still very bullish and it's just a minor pullback and uh if you look at the big picture we're definitely still in a very clear uptrend right so i don't think there's anything to be worried about um overall really good action and the next level we want to watch out for is that 444 level to break if that can happen then the next uh, uh we have room to 453 but uh yeah overall the uh, spy looks pretty good now we'll take a look at qqq so qqq same thing right but qqq is even stronger and it already reached that uh, the 369 level so spy um spy still hasn't reached that 453 level right but qqq is already there which is good qqq has been showing uh more strength in general so tech in general this year has been uh really strong right and uh yeah we're consolidating right below it and this is actually really really good action uh we're starting to build a nice bull flag right uh let me draw it so we're tightening up getting tighter and tighter and i think there's a very good chance that we could see a big move in the coming weeks or coming days um but yeah we'll see what happens but if we do break down then i think it would be fine as well as long as this trend line holds right this trend line is what is what is the most important right now so uh yeah we got really extended here right one two three four five six seven eight green weeks in a row so i wouldn't be surprised to go sideways for a bit longer and just wait for the trend line to catch up but um yeah overall really good action in both the indices and uh, let's take a look at the daily chart yeah um uh, not much to really say uh yeah we've basically just been consolidating under that 370 level so we'll see if that can get taken out but i think very likely that we'll just keep going sideways for a little bit but overall really good action still um but yeah now we'll take a look at some of the big cap tech stocks. We'll start off with uh, Tesla. Tesla also has earnings coming up on the 19th. So that's something to watch out for. But Tesla has been acting really well. Let's take a look at the daily chart. So we got a really nice gap up on Monday. And then it's basically just uh, forming a bull flag. It basically just formed the bull flag the past week, which is perfectly normal action. So if this bull flag gets taken out, then that would be a bullish setup and you would be you would want to be buying above that uh above that 280 level or if that trend line gets taken out then you want to be buying and then uh, yeah we have room to 310 but overall really good action from tesla um and yeah nothing to be worried about i think if we do go sideways we could see a slow grind down for tesla and we could fill the gap maybe but um yeah if the market can hold up then i think we can break that trend line and make a quick move up to 310 but yeah overall really good action from tesla uh next up we'll take a look at nvidia so nvidia has been basically going sideways this week too um it tried to break that 432 level twice on uh, wednesday and friday but it failed both times so that's clear resistance level right that's a clear resistance level and we want to see that get. we want to see that get taken out and if we can take that out then uh, i think we have room to all-time highs again but yeah we're starting to form some sort of bull flag here as well so if 
we can consolidate for a little bit longer and then break out that would be really good action but yeah overall healthy action on nvidia and i think we can see uh, new all-time highs very soon um next up we'll take a look at netflix so netflix has also been acting pretty well um didn't really do much this week tried to break out made a uh, new 52 week highs and then pulled back in on thursday and on friday put a consolidation bar in but um yeah netflix let's take a look at the weekly chart so netflix is also very extended like the qqq right had one two three four five six six screen uh six up weeks in a row so i wouldn't be surprised if we got more consolidation and waited for the trend line to catch up but um yeah overall really good action and the key resistance level is that 447 ish so if we can take that out then the next level would be 475 but yeah overall really good action um and i wouldn't be surprised if we did pull back more and just rested for a bit longer and we'll just wait for that trend line to catch up and netflix also has earnings coming up on the 19th as well so um, yeah watch out for that and then we'll take a look at microsoft so microsoft's forming a really nice uh, pattern here right so it's making a cup here and that we could potentially pull back and make some sort of handle right if we do that that would be a classic cup and handle pattern but um right now microsoft's acting pretty well um we made a really strong rally this year right back to all-time highs and now we've just been consolidating and flagging and we're getting tighter and tighter and this is perfectly healthy action right so i think uh a uh, good chance that we could consolidate for a couple more weeks tighten up a little bit more and then we can see a big breakout or we could pull back and form a uh, uh, the handle part of the cup and handle pattern and um and then break out later but yeah overall really good action on microsoft as well next up we'll take a look at meta so meta has been slow grinding up this entire year this one's crazy right this one ever since got that breakout it's just been going higher and higher and uh, yeah it's been turning up really really nicely it tried to break out this week actually but uh we close right so that 290 level is clear resistance level and we're currently uh at that level right now but um let's take a look at the daily chart so it has uh room to 305 but got rejected at that uh 290 level it tried to break out and then close below or yeah it closed it actually closed above that level so that's fine but um i don't like that volume right it looked like we rejected on higher volume so um we'll see what happens but um meta does have a pretty uh tight trend line here so we'll see if that breaks right if that breaks then we could see a bigger pullback but uh if we continue to bounce off it then uh easily target is 305 but yeah we'll see what happens this week overall still really good action on meta as well Next up, we'll take a look at Google. So Google has been going sideways for a while now. Had really, yeah, so it had a really strong breakout for two weeks in a row, and then it's been consolidating, and now it's pulling back. Um, yeah, there's not much to say for Google right now. It's stuck in between this uh, range, right, 127 and 118, and unless it breaks in either way, then it's pretty much just in chopping and can go, or it can continue to chop for a while, right? So um yeah as long as 118 holds i think we're bullish i think consolidation would be healthy action that's fine um but if we lose 118 that's going to be a problem and uh, we could see a bigger pullback to 109 but yeah those are the key levels for google take a look at amazon so amazon's been acting pretty well here right it's been uh tightening up yeah it's been tightening up forming a bull flag um no real direction yet right uh, let me adjust the trend line a little bit so it's still in this trend line so uh nothing has happened yet but we're getting really tight and that uh, we should see a big move in the upcoming week either up or down we'll see which way it goes but uh yeah amazon's definitely ready to make a bigger move here and if we do go to the upside then or if we do break to the upside then the target would be 136 and uh if we go to the downside there's a key support level of 114 and uh yeah that, that could be a potential target for anyone that's shorting amazon but um yeah those are the key levels for amazon 
Next up, we'll take a look at AMD. So AMD um, has been stuck in this uh, consolidation range for the past week. So it tried to break 117, failed, and it tried to break 111, and also failed for uh, for the bears. Um, so we'll see what happens. Right, it's right now it's in between this range. If we can take out 117, then that's bullish. If we lose 111, then that's bearish, and we could see a further drop to 107, and then potentially even lower than that. But um, yeah, those are the key levels for AMD, and then Apple. Um, so Apple's been insanely strong, right? It's been trending up. It's been trending higher and higher this entire year, and uh, if it's putting a consolidation bar on the weekly chart right now, but on the daily chart, you can see that this is perfectly healthy action, and it's just building a bull flag here. So completely uh, healthy action here, and we could consolidate for a bit longer and wait for that trend line to catch up. And I think that would be good action, and I think we could expect that. Um, so yeah, a bit more pullback and then break that bull flag and then make a leg up higher, right? And then I think the target for Apple would be the 200 level because that's the psychological level, right? But um, yeah, overall, really good action from Apple and uh, yeah, nothing to worry about for, for bulls just yet, at least. Um, but yeah, now we'll take a look at ARKK, see how growth stocks are doing. Let's take a look at the weekly chart. Um, so it was building a nice bull flag here and we tried to break out this week but failed and uh, yeah we'll see again so the key level to take out is that 45 level if we can take that out then definitely very very bullish on growth stocks like square shopify things like that right um but yeah that, that, that's all there is to say for eric kk you want to see that 45 level get taken out or we could just be chopping around again between that 45 and 40 level but yeah, we'll see what happens. Overall, pretty good action, I would say. Um, yeah, just more consolidation is uh, it's not a bad thing. We're just setting up for things to consolidate more and then get a bigger breakout, right? So um, yeah, perfectly healthy action. Now we'll take a look at some individual names that have been acting well. So I have three names for this week. AI is one of them. Um, so AI has been showing a lot of relative strength recently. Uh, had a really strong update on uh, uh, I think this was Wednesday yeah Wednesday and then on Thursday it consolidated pretty nicely um, a lot of names kept down but this one held up pretty well and then on Friday it tried to break up but failed to break out um, so the key level is going to be that 40.4 ish level if that gets taken out then we could see a rally higher and the first target being uh, 44 and then uh, we could see 40 uh, yeah that 40 8.5 level and then 50 and then uh yeah just continue powering uh, higher and higher but a 40 level is uh 40.4 level is something that we have to take out first and if we can do that then we can see a lot of momentum coming back into the stock but yeah this one's a fast mover so yeah definitely keep your eyes on this one on this one because it can offer good opportunities um okay next stock we'll take a look at rivian so this one had uh a massive massive move last week um yeah it went from 13 dollars to uh 25 almost 100 percent move right and uh yeah it rejected at that 25.8 level which is a um a significant resistance level so now we want to see if we can consolidate for a couple weeks uh form some sort of flag and if we can do that then this would be a top tier setup to watch right really really um uh, nice volume this is institutions buying for sure right so definitely want to be paying attention to this one and uh, yeah hopefully we can form some sort of flag and then we can buy it on that flag breakout and next up ionq so this is another ai related stock uh cloud computing stock um it's actually not cloud computing i think it's quantum i'm not sure what it is but it's related to ai for sure and uh yeah this one had a really nice uh bullish breakout really nice candle here really nice volume and now it's currently uh flagging so yeah it's currently flagging here really nicely so if we can take out that 14 um resistance level then a good chance that we can break out and uh, continue to power higher but uh yeah definitely have this one on my radar this one likes to make really big moves consolidate for a while and then make a big move again so this one is consolidating pretty tightly right now so definitely keeping this one 
my watch list and seeing if we can take that 40 14 level out and if we can then i'll be looking to buy but um yeah that's pretty much it um yeah that's my list for this week thank you guys for tuning in and uh yeah peace out